Hi, I'm NASA Kennedy's John Cowart, and I'm taking you inside KSC. Astronauts who gave their lives in pursuit of space exploration were remembered and honored during the Kennedy Space Center's Day of Remembrance. Hosted by the Astronauts Memorial Foundation and the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, the observance pays tribute to the crew members of Apollo 1, Space Shuttle Challenger, Space Shuttle Columbia, and others who have perished on NASA missions or in training. Members of the fallen astronauts' families and some former astronauts gathered to pay their respects alongside Kennedy employees. Held at the center's visitor complex, the observance included a wreath-laying ceremony at the Space Mirror Memorial, which was placed by Center Director Bob Cabana, Kennedy Deputy Director Janet Petro, Kennedy Associate Director Kelvin Manning, and Thad Altman, President and Chief Executive Officer of the AMF. Cabana and Altman were among those who spoke at the ceremony. Cabana reflected on the past and touched on the importance of continued space exploration. Many of the names on that mirror were close friends of mine, and I miss them. But they're not forgotten, all right? And uh, what they did just makes us want to press on and go even further. The agency is now targeting March 2nd for launch of SpaceX's Crew Dragon on its uncrewed Demo-1 test flight. The uncrewed test flight will be the first time a commercially built and operated American spacecraft designed for humans will dock to the International Space Station and ultimately acts as a dress rehearsal for missions with astronauts aboard. To meet NASA's requirements, SpaceX must first demonstrate their systems are ready to begin regular flights to the space station. After the uncrewed flight test, SpaceX will complete a flight test with crew before becoming certified by NASA for crew rotation missions. And remember, Spaceport Magazine digs deeper inside KSC.